All right, so uh, this is a this is a randomizer for Sonic Adventure uh, DX Director's Cuts on the PC, obviously, because only the PC version can have mods on it. Uh, I don't really know much of uh, how to do the speedrunning tricks in this game, um, but that's not really going to matter anyway, since. Uh, Aside from characters that I'm going to be playing as, and um, the stages that I'm going to be playing on being not matching up with one another, basically, um, I'm not going to be playing the game like I normally would anyway, so uh, the fact that we're playing as characters on stages that they're normally not supposed to be playing on, it can either lead to... Uh, Stages taking longer to complete than normal, or being able to complete them faster than normal. Because those characters have abilities that <coughs> allow them to bypass things that you wouldn't normally be able to during normal gameplay. And, and by the way, just a note for the ESA people who are going to be looking at this uh, submission. Uh, I'm not going to be skipping any of the cutscenes during this randomizer playthrough. Uh, because that's how I normally play the randomizer, but, uh, excuse me, if you want me to skip them when I play, uh, should this run get submitted, or accepted, rather, then let me know, and, and I'll gladly skip them. However, not skipping the cutscenes would allow for plenty of opportunity to, uh, read off donations while they play, so that's something you may want to consider should you decide to accept my run. So uh, right off the bat, we have what is actually a terrible character stage combination because this is a Knuckles treasure hunting level where you play as Big, who, whose core gameplay in the original game is fishing. So he absolutely does not have the uh, ability or speed or anything to uh, complete this level normally at all. Luckily, however, the randomizer uh, gives us an option to increase Big's acceleration and running speed so he can do things that you normally would not be able to do with him. But uh, in order to get this last emerald piece, I have to uh, tilt the ship in a specific way. And uh, there is actually a, a glitch in the randomizer where uh, Big can actually pick up this sign. Uh, this, this switch, rather, even though he's not supposed to be able to, obviously because it's a switch and not something you're supposed to pick up. Yeah, like that. That's extremely annoying, and, uh, if that happens, then it basically increases the difficulty of trying to push the switch again exponentially because as you can see here it's not attached to the ground so I can't even pick it up so yeah aside from randomizing the characters and stages as you've probably already noticed by now it also randomizes voice lines and music so Instead of hearing the Sky Deck music you would normally hear on this level, because this is the Sky Deck, you're hearing the Shao Lobby music instead. How to play as Amy. And instead of a Takal voice line playing there explaining how to tilt the ship in order to find pieces of the Master Emerald, you got a line from Gamma about how to play as Amy, I, I think is what he said. Yeah, this is absolutely disastrous, especially since now that I fell off trying to, uh, get back, uh, to try to tilt the ship. And yeah, the, these springs and rockets are not normally here on this level because Knuckles can just glide and climb up walls. Vega can do no such thing, so he has to, uh... God, that's annoying. Oh my god.
Okay, at this point, I'm just going to attempt to reset and see if that will fix anything. As you can see, it, it fixed the positioning of the switch, but I'm still going to struggle to, uh... pull it anyway. I need to tilt it this way in order to get the ship to open the doors in order to let me in where I need to go to in order to get the last emerald piece, though it is entirely possible. Oh my god. Uh. Yeah, see, this is exactly why playing the randomizer can be painful at times, because you have to play as this useless character who can't do anything w without it being a struggle. Like at this point, it, it would be faster for me to just reset the level again. And he, he didn't even pick it up that time, and he was somehow still carrying it? Oh my god. With any other character, literally any other character I would be playing as, the level would be done already. The next level would be done already. Hell, I'd probably be already be done with the level after that. But no, be, because I, I'm playing as big here, I, I'm still stuck on the first level of the randomizer. Yeah. Oh my god. And, and of course the, the switch re resets to its initial position when he picks up when he when he picks it up as well. Oh my god, stop! You know, I, I'm just gonna leave it like that. I, I don't even care anymore. I think if you uh, reset the stage, it also changes where the emerald pieces that you're looking for are as well, so... If that's the case, then I just need to hope that that hasn't happened with the, the piece that I need to get that's behind the store over here. And it looks like it's unchanged, so good. Uh, and he just uh, wasted my seven and a half minutes just completing one level, all, all because I had to play as big there. Ignore the fact that it said, you know, 130 or whatever it was there, because uh, the timer resets if you reset the stage, at, at least when you're playing on Knuckles' levels. So uh, this is actually a pretty interesting here. This is actually the final boss, which you would normally be playing a Super Sonic, except uh, here I'm Amy, but she plays more or less exactly like how Super Sonic would during this fight. Assumingly, because otherwise the fight would be completely impossible to... Uh, finish. This is more or less functioning the same way uh, a final battle with Super Sonic would be on, on Sega Genesis. You have to keep your ring count up, otherwise uh, you die because uh, Super Sonic isn't Super Sonic anymore. Uh, so yeah, you start off with 50 rings, have to maintain your ring count as it gradually decreases. And, uh, you have to run at perfect chaos with enough speed so that way you're going fast enough into him to be able to reach his brain. If you enter perfect chaos too slowly, then you don't have enough speed to make it up into his head and thus deal damage to him. So that was phase one. Easy enough to complete, but now we come to phase two where it's actually a little bit harder to uh, dodge his attacks, which is... They can't hurt you, but they will slow you down enough that if you're too close to him when you get hit, you won't have enough speed to uh, hit him, as I already mentioned. Avoiding these shots is uh, more or less easy enough. It's these tornadoes and that energy beam that, that's the real problem. Yeah, see... it. Because I got hit when I was very close to him, I... 
I lost too much deep speed to be able to hit him. That, that's very unfortunate, but at the very least, I was able to demonstrate what I was talking about there. Of course, now I have to... Now I'm a little bit worried here because... Because not only did I fail landing a hit on him, but it actually took a while for... Uh... Oh my god. That, that's another thing that can happen if, if you run into a wall too quickly, then obviously that causes you to lose all your speed. And uh, yeah, I, I, I'm pretty much dead here. Because I, I can't collect enough rings to stay alive long enough to finish landing the last three hits on him needed to kill him. Dear God. I, I'm starting to think that I might not submit this after all because this is turning out to be an absolute disaster right here. I mean, this is turning out to be a disaster, but the seed I get during the actual marathon could turn out to be wonderful. Of course, I could actually get a game over here because my life count is so low since I didn't have any opportunity to earn extra lives th this early into the randomizer. So, I don't know. If I game over here, then I'm probably either going to reset the seed or cut stream. <laughs> But yeah, I, I've pretty much explained everything that I need to about how this boss fight works, and there's absolutely nothing else for me to say right now, so uh, should this happen during the marathon, uh, this would be the perfect time to read off any donations that uh, we would have already come in during the run. The thing about this too is that this boss fight should not be giving me as much trouble as it is right now. It, it really should be easy enough that I, I can clear it without any problems, but for some reason, whenever I play the randomizer, I always struggle here. And it's always during the second phase, which even during that I normally don't have any problems finishing. Okay, but that time I managed to get a hit off completely uh, without any problems whatsoever. Now I just need to do it again for the last <coughs> for the last two hits. My ring count is uh, running a bit low here, so. Uh, That was very scary. I could have been hit by those tornadoes, and I'm honestly surprised that I didn't get hit. Uh, I'm actually going to approach these uh, next few uh, platforms very slowly here, uh, just to make sure that I get these rings. Uh, that was not very slowly, and I did not get many rings, but uh, hopefully... Uh, yeah, okay, we're good. See, that's what was supposed to happen the first time. But like I said, for whatever reason, I always struggle when, when playing the randomizer. Don't know why, but that's just how it works out. Oh my god, we're actually playing as big again. Ugh, this always happens to me. Why does the game always feel the need to, to give me big on the absolute worst levels that there is to play on? To play as on him? You know, you can actually get Supersonic as a playable character in, in, in these levels, and I almost never get him. You can also get Metal Sonic, but I almost never get him. The, the game just loves to throw big my way. Just, just, I'm always playing as big on the worst levels to play as him on. Never anybody fun. I'm not. I'm not sure where this music is played uh, in the actual game. 
I, I think it's an unused song because I, I I can't think of any place where that music was played right there. Oh wow, I'm surprised he can actually hold on to that. Though you can clearly see that they did not have an animation programmed for him because uh, you're never supposed to play as big on this level, obviously. Okay, so this is the second part of the level, or rather the intermission part of the level, because this isn't the actual second act of it. Normally you're supposed to be running down the side of this building here as Sonic, but uh, Big can't even run, much less run up, run down a wall, so he just falls. Oh, I almost grabbed the electric shield there, but of course uh, I completely missed it. Well, not completely. I, I almost got it, but almost isn't the same thing as doing. So this is the, the actual second act of the level. And this is actually the part of the stage that Knuckles plays on when, when you play the stage as him. I'm gonna take a shortcut here. If I was actually playing as Knuckles or Tails here, I could just fly over the buildings and go straight to the exit. But of course, Big is not a fun character, so I have to do it this way. Oh my god. Jump into the fountain, get shot out over here. And finally, we're finished with this level. God. As I said earlier on the Sky Deck, with any other character, the level would have been already over by now. But of course, we were playing as big, so we had to suffer with going through it slowly. I mean, even playing as Amy here it is faster than playing as big. Especially since, like with big, you, when playing the randomizer, you get an option to increase her running speed and acceleration. And that obviously helps greatly, because normally she's uh, very slow compared to uh, all the other characters in the game. So this here is Tails' version of Windy Valley, as you could probably tell from all the green rings in the sky. Those would normally give Tails a speed boost while he's flying through the air, but uh, obviously, while they're not completely useless for Amy, uh, their, their use is very limited as they just... Well, that's not true. They actually function more or less exactly the same way as they do for Tails, but since Amy can't fly, uh, it doesn't continue her... It, she doesn't fly through the air, basically. It, it just more or less gives, pushes her through with enough speed so that way she can... Uh... Oh god, this is bad. Oh god! Okay, so I got saved by a wind current there. Um, but yeah. It pushes you through with enough speed that you can get through all of them and not to worry about falling through your death, even though your character can't fly. <laughs> the fastest way to, to finish this level is to just fall to the end and keeping the camera focused on your character rather than letting the auto camera do it to work. Otherwise, you, you'll, you'll die. But as long as you keep the camera focused on your character, then you'll never touch the death barrier. Okay, uh, ignore the, the fact that, you know, we, we, we split a whole bunch of times here. We, we've actually not completed nearly that many levels. And I'm actually very excited about the fact that I got Knuckles here, because this here is Sonic's version of Lost World, and uh, this character stage combination is a perfect demonstration of how it can be fun to play the randomizer, and, you know, how it, clearly they did not intend for you to play as these characters in these stages. 
As you saw there, I got a huge speed boost through that tunnel by uh, gliding against the ceiling. I'm gonna skip that checkpoint because normally what you're supposed to do here is press all these switches to raise the water level so you can reach other switches to open the door that's over here somewhere. Yeah, over there. You press switches to raise the water level that give you access to switches to open this door, but since we're playing as Knuckles, we can just climb through the wall and the ceiling has no collision since they never intended for you to get that high. And you can open this door from behind and move on to the next part of the stage, just like that. So this next part coming up here uh, can be a bit tricky to get through because it's dark and normally you're supposed to point this light at these mirrors in order to light the way, but uh, in the randomizer, those mirrors do not exist, so you, you pretty much just have to fumble through the darkness to uh, make your way through. I could have glided there, but I decided to take the rocket because I guess it's faster. I don't know. <laughs> And of course, normally you would bounce along the screens, but since I'm Knuckles, I can just glide through there. And the level is more or less <coughs> over already, because what I can do here is rotate the camera so it's facing uh, my back, or rather, it's behind me rather than in front of me. It would normally be in front of your character, and as you're getting chased by this boulder, but uh, you can just rotate it here, uh, once again, glitch through the ceiling, enter the door from behind to enter the next area, and you're done! The level's over already! <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's Auto Splitter bugging out once again. So this is actually the, the final boss of Amy's story. You're supposed to knock him into these uh, electric barriers, but uh, the particles from Sonic charging his light speed dash actually electrocute him the same as if he were uh, uh, being pushed into that electric fence over there, which is highly convenient for us because th that allows us to kill him much more quickly than we would than if we were fighting him as Amy. <laughs> so yeah, just like that, boss is over and done with. Excuse me. Okay, so Twinkle Park has Amy. Excuse me. Although Amy is not as fun to play as, as other characters, she's nowhere near as bad as Big. And especially with the um, increased acceleration that you get from the randomizer, uh... She's definitely a lot more fun to play as than she normally would be anyway. Uh, there's more or less uh, nothing to say here uh, during this section. You're more or less just trying to drive around the corners as neatly and tightly as possible to maintain your speed like you would in a racing game. Uh, this would be a good time for reading off donations. Uh, if, I, if I get this level during the randomizer, uh, if this run is accepted, and uh, if I get any repeat levels as well, that would also be a good time for reading off donations. So I got an extra life there from getting 100 rings, definitely gonna need that, especially since I had to reset a bunch of times on the first level. So now we're entering the uh, second part of the stage here. You enter it on a roller coaster ride and then you fall down here into the actual main part of the level. Oh, that, that's very nice. I wasn't sure if that was gonna work, so I'm very happy to see that it did. Oh my god. Okay, this is actually very scary since I can't see and I don't have any rings. But that's fine because I just got some rings right now. 
very happy to have uh, jumped over that fence as well as uh, landed on that. Uh... Oh my god. Oh, this song that's playing right now is actually from Sonic CD. Yeah, it, it's part of a DLC that was released for the game where you would have to find some uh, things or whatever. I, I forgot what it was called exactly. I think it was a, a Reebok challenge or something like that. But yeah, they, they, they repurposed music from Sonic CD for that, and uh, since I can't jump over that fence, apparently, even though I know you can, or at least around it, um, I have to take the long, normal way of finishing the level. But yeah, we're, we're more or less done with this level uh, much more quickly than we would be since I was able to jump over that fence at the beginning of the second act after the roller coaster ride, as well as uh, that spring that launched me way higher than I would normally get by jumping up. Oh good, we got a, another level world. Another Sonic level where we're playing as Knuckles. So I get to demonstrate once again just how clearly they did not intend for you to be playing Sonic stages as a character other than Sonic. Because now I can just glide over here to the second act of the level and without having to play any of the first act at all. And uh... I can skip the uh, entire second act of the level as well and skip straight to the snowboarding section. But uh, Knuckles can't ride a snowboard since he never ever does in the regular game, so they put him in a go-kart instead uh, for the snowboarding section in the randomizer. <laughs> in the normal game, to beat this level quickly, you would just glitch through the wall and, and fall to the end of the stage. but. Uh, since you're forced into a go-kart when playing as characters other than Sonic or Tails, uh, you can't do that, so, uh, yeah. Or at least to my knowledge, you can't do it, so I have to do this normally. But as you can see, we're, we're just flying through this section right here because of how much faster the go-kart goes when it's going down a slope. The only thing that's slightly annoying is the fact that the, the trigger buttons are used for making sharp turns, and they're also use for turning the camera, so that's quite annoying, but other than that, controlling it is not so bad despite how fast it goes. Oh my god. This boss battle, and we're playing as big yet again. What is that, like like three times already that, that we're playing as big? Oh yeah, sour please. When, when doing this boss battle as Sonic and I think as Tails as well, there's actually a way to kill him in one cycle. Be, be, like. You lock him into this position here, and you can hit him three times at once. Or rather, three times one right after the other, and completely skip the second and third cycles. We're not playing as Sonic or Tails here, obviously, so we don't have the luxury of being able to do that. But yeah, there goes that boss battle. That ended pretty quickly, but it's still way slower than it would be if you were to do an actual speed run of it with the intended characters. I mean, even playing as Knuckles, that fight would have gone faster than it should have. Though I, I am actually not sure if uh, you can... Oh, I'm actually going to make a detour here. I need to grab this shield, but to also grab this extra life, since again, I had to reset a bunch of times early into the randomizer, so... I need as many lights as I can get in order to knock game over. So yeah, uh, this is another Sonic level where we're playing as Knuckles, and uh, well, at least to my knowledge, there isn't anything as as major as the stuff that I showed in, in Lost World. But I suppose it wouldn't hurt to try to find things to uh, find ways to, to skip parts of the level as Knuckles here. Oh god, I can't believe I completely missed those dash panels. 
But uh, yeah, the, the ceilings here uh, have collision that you would actually climb off of uh, if you were to glide into them, which is why I avoided doing that. Uh, this section of the level breaks a bit when playing as other characters, because uh, they are obviously only intended to go through here as Sonic. But uh, it seems to work fine there. I guess it functions properly for characters who are like Sonic. Oh, never mind. Yeah. See what I mean? Playing as characters other than Sonic on, on that portion uh, causes th that, that section to push out. So normally you're supposed to do some more platforming here in order to make it over to this pipe, which takes you to the lower level, but uh, since we're Knuckles, we can just climb along the wall here and uh, jump into it uh, without needing to do any platforming. And yes, you do need to press that switch uh, before you can come over here, because otherwise the floor is closed and you actually get soft-locked. So we can actually uh, just... Uh, fall down here and enter the elevator and we're now moving on to the final section of the level or act three if you will okay so now we've got plenty of lives to work with so we should be good for the rest of the randomizer run uh, I could climb up that ladder, but I also could just climb up this wall here and be right next to where I have to go. Oh my god. Ugh, I cannot believe I just died there. It's so stupid. Luckily the checkpoint is right here, but still, that that's a completely unnecessary death that absolutely should not have happened there. Please. Oh, yeah, see, th those fans are, are what uh, messed me up because uh, they cancel your gliding. And yeah, as you can see right there, you, you see what I mean by uh, the collisions on the ceilings there causes uh, knuckles to get attached to them as if there are a wall. And you're normally supposed to have the electric shield there, which would allow easy collection for all those rings and thus uh, being able to easily get another 100 rings for more extra lives. But, uh, it's fine. Despite dying on this level earlier, we got a bunch of extra lives as well, so... Hopefully we don't have to worry about getting a game over, and we're coming up to the end of the level there. Uh, right now, actually. Oh my god! Okay, I'm actually gonna take this rocket, because I don't, I don't trust, uh... Gliding to the end of the stage there, even though I probably could have made it. So obviously that death cost us a bit of time, as well as that stupid enemy hitting me. Even though I shouldn't have gotten hit there. But yeah, already we're done with uh, 10 stages, I think. <laughs> I'm not, I haven't been keeping track, but uh, we're done with Sonic's story, and now we can move on to Tails' story. Not that there's any real difference between them, since all the levels are randomized anyway, and there's no adventure fields in the randomizer. So, uh... Depending on whether or not if this, uh, run submission is accepted, uh, I would either skip this cutscene for the sake of getting on with it, or I would allow this cutscene to play out to give, uh, some time to, for donations to be read. But for now, let's just watch the cutscene play out and listen to these hilarious random voice lines play out. Interesting. So this is the... Uh... Oh my god, that is so stupid. I, I threw the, the enemy right into his mouth. So these enemies 
shoot out this uh, ice particle thing. And uh, you're supposed to... What? I literally threw it right at him. You're supposed to throw these enemies that, that freeze you into his mouth so that way they can freeze him and you can damage him while he's frozen. That really... Sh Neither of those first two should have failed to get in his mouth at all. Though, to be fair, I probably should have just let him suck the first one up like, like he did just now. But still, th there's no way that, that that first one should have missed. And yeah, you do need to throw them into his mouth because uh, if you've uh, if if he touches one of them, even if it is his mouth when they're disabled, then it gets destroyed. Uh, and that one is in an awkward position that doesn't allow me to pick it up. So uh, yeah, rip. Oh my god, pick it up. So yeah, normally you fight that thing as either Chaos or Knuckles, but there's also a Big the Cat version of that fight, which I don't think comes up in the randomizer unless you have options for vanilla character stage combinations enabled, because I'm pretty sure the big version of that fight is impossible to do with other characters, since it involves fishing out Froggy from within Chaos itself. So yeah, this this is one of the, the racing mini games that can happen uh, in the game. Well, in the in the actual game, there's only one course for you to do time trials on, but uh, there's at least five different uh, DLC courses that only one of which got released. But thanks to mods, we are able to play all of them. And I don't mean just in the randomizer either. And uh, speaking of mods, uh, in case anybody's wondering why this game might look different from how they're used to seeing it look on, on PC, it's because I'm using a mod called the Dreamcast Restoration Project or something like that. It basically restores the textures and models from the Dreamcast version of the game, uh, but also allows for options such as uh, using the DX Director's Cut Edition character models instead, but keeping the textures from the Dreamcast models while still using the newer updated models at the same time. It also restores the Dreamcast version's original lighting and also has the option for enabling the original uh, Dreamcast Chow Gardens as well as removing the Cream the Rabbit cameos that happened throughout the story. Basically trying to make the PC version of the game as close to um, the original Dreamcast version as possible. Uh, I have a number of different options enabled uh, for uh, this uh, mod collection. So I, I have pretty much the original Dreamcast uh, textures and lighting, but uh, the character models from the, uh, the re-release, the X version. So if you're wondering why the game looks different than what you might normally see on, on the PC edition, that, that is why. So this is uh, Big's version of Ice Cap Zone. You're normally supposed to fish Froggy out, but uh, all the other characters in the game are actually fun to play as, so you can't fish with them. So instead, what the randomizer has you do is navigate what little of the stage there is to navigate and uh, find Froggy. I've already played this level numerous times already in the randomizer, so I know exactly where to find him. And as painful as it is to play as Big, on on this boss fight, it's actually one of the fastest ways to, to to fight this boss because, well, as you can see there, I can just cheese him very easily and the fight is over in a matter of seconds. <laughs> so that is actually one of the few times where it is not an absolutely painful slot to, to play as Big the Cat, but that is only one of very few and rare exceptions. And, uh, oh boy, I got stuck there for a second. Uh, yeah, so like Knuckles, uh, Gamma can't, uh, 
snowboard, or I guess in this case, sandboard. So uh, he's riding a go-kart down a sand hill instead. And uh, because this is also much shorter than Ice Cap Zone, just like that, the level is over already. <laughs> I didn't even have time to say much about that level. And look, we're fighting Chaos 6 again, only this time as Sonic, only it's the Knuckles version of the fight. So, interesting thing about the Knuckles version of the fight, if you use Knuckles' uh, heat charge attack against this boss, it actually deals double damage support to him, resulting in a, a very fast fight. And uh, interestingly hey, enough, Sonic's uh, light speed dash attack works the same way. It deals double damage to him, which means that uh, they basically program attacks like that to deal double damage to him and not just Knuckles is charged attack specifically, Ready? which is a very interesting uh, property of that fight. Not really sure how, how else I reward that, but yeah, an interesting uh, facet of the, of, of the fight. I skipped that um, FMV cutscene because as an FMV, there's no dialogue spoken during it, so there aren't any funny random voice lines to hear during it, however, if this run gets accepted for ESA and they don't want me to skip any of the cutscenes so they can have time to read off donations, I will also let FMV cutscenes play out uh, despite them being much shorter than these real-time rendered cutscenes. <laughs> I dare you! Even this birdie wants you to be free! <laughs> Destroy the tentacles! Without them, the barrier won't recover! You're not the only one on a wild who's chasing it! Why should I ruin your surprise? <laughs> the switch for the gear controls is around here somewhere. That was close! Hey there, bull brain! You better get Amy to me or I'll squash ya! <laughs> Please board the train and wait for departure. No matter. I will destroy Station Square anyway. The egg area is losing altitude! Okay, so, uh... <clears throat> oh, wow. Okay. Normally, you're supposed to be told uh, what your mission objective is at the, when the final level starts, but for some reason it didn't display there at the beginning of this level, but that doesn't matter, so there was no reason for me to comment on that whatsoever. <laughs> uh... I think this is actually... Gamma's version of this level, so that's interesting. Oh wait, okay, never mind. This is in fact Sonic's version of the level because uh, Gamma's version of the level has more or less the same layout, although slightly different. Yeah, I, I, I should have been able to tell the difference there. Uh, yeah, so as you can see there. Uh, that, that rocket it is bugged and it didn't shoot me all the way up it, it's supposed to and these springs are also bugged as they're not uh, shooting me up where they're supposed to. Oh my god, a and okay, now they're working properly. Good. And just like that we've exited to a tornado. This would actually be a perfect time for me to demonstrate what I was talking about before when it came to uh, skipping this level. As long as you keep rotating the camera so that way it's close to your character, then you will never have to worry about dying as you fall fall through the level. Because for whatever reason, it's the camera being far away from your character as you fall through the stage that causes you to die and not necessarily falling through the stage itself. It's very weird. Although I do need to hover because uh, I do not know how to fall through the stage blindly yet. Like I said, I uh, 
don't necessarily speedrun this game. Oh my god. And what I described, what, what happened, is exactly what happened. Even though I was keeping the camera focused on my character the entire time and did not allow it to get too far away from my character at all. Okay. I'm just gonna play it safe and go through this level the normal way. Not. Uh, I'm gonna fall through it to an extent. When I get to the point where I died before, that's where I'm going to... Uh, there's going to be a checkpoint coming up uh, somewhere, and uh, I'll be sure to hit that just so I don't have to repeat the second act all the way from the beginning again. Yeah, I'm going to be playing it safe here. Uh, Semi-hovering through this section. I think the checkpoint is over there. I'm gonna alternate rotating the camera left and right, just to be safe. Okay, so now that I've uh, hit the checkpoints, I'll, I'll continue to fall through the level and hopefully I won't die this time. Very unfortunate that uh, I had a, another unnecessary death here, but uh, whatever, it's randomizer, you can't always avoid these things. Even if you do them exactly as you're supposed to. Oh, I wasn't supposed to land there, but uh, yeah. As you can see, uh, the graphics pop up as they as you get closer to them, which is definitely a part of the limitations of technology at the time when this game originally came out. Oh my God. For some reason, even though I was rotating the camera, it was starting to move away from my character. Well, that was uh, a lot more nerve-wracking and uh, time-consuming than necessary, but we managed to get through it, and it was still far better than playing almost any level as big, and oh my god, we're playing as him again. Speak of the devil. Luckily, however, it's just Sandhill again, so... All we have to do is drive a go-kart down a sandy hill, and we'll be done with the level in a matter of seconds because we're just flying through this sand hill zone. Since we've already done this before, we can uh, read some donations if you wish. Never mind, because the level's already over. Debated. <laughs> oh my god, Metal Sign! Finally, an actually fun character. And of course, it's on another short level where we play as him. This is normally Gamma's first level, but uh, yeah, we, we just destroy the Sonic doll and yeah. So here it goes. Level's over already. So of course, the one time where we actually get to play as Metal Sonic, <laughs> it's on a level that um. <laughs> That's basically not even a level because it's over before you know it. So this is actually pretty interesting. This is normally a level where you play as Sonic, but we're playing as Tails here, and uh, you a you actually do play through this level as Tails as well, just not this version. However, that doesn't really matter because you can just skip parts of the level anyway by simply flying past them, as you can clearly see me doing right here. <laughs> The lack of green rings for speeding up Tails' flight or giving him a boost doesn't matter because you can just fly anyway. Oh my god. that That's a thing that can happen as well. You're supposed to shoot this rocket into this cannon, and that's how you move on to the next part of the level, but in the randomizer, if you're not playing as Sonic, it, it can fail to work, at least the first time. So that's very annoying. <laughs> So this would be a rather problematic area normally when playing as Sonic or as a character that's slower than Sonic, but Tails can fly, so it's no problem for him whatsoever. The direction in which this cannon rotates it is random, so... Okay, good. I managed to get the rocket off before it could rotate in an unfavorable position. Oh wow, this is actually almost vanilla music, because, uh... 
We're in the second act of Sky Deck, and this is the music for the first act. So, had had this level had this music come on in, in the previous act, this would actually be the original music for the stage. But uh, yeah, as you can see, Tails can fly, makes completely exotic levels much much faster and easier than they normally would be, and just like that, it, the level's over before you know it. Oh, oh boy. Okay, so uh, this is another one of those levels where it's Big's version of the level. So normally what you would do is fish out Big, uh, pet frog, froggy, creative name. And uh, that's how you'd complete the level, but since the other characters can't fish, the way you complete this level is accessing some secret area to retrieve froggy uh, directly. Uh, normally you're supposed to enter, go underwater, enter this cave, and enter this secret area to retrieve Foggy, but since Gamma automatically hovers above water, he can't do that, so instead what he needs to do is activate a switch that activates a rocket that automatically shoots him to, uh, Froggy. Excuse me. Okay, so, uh, this level actually works differently from Sonic's other levels. Excuse me. Instead of uh, playing a, a normal stage, you excuse me, play one of two pinball games. This one is based off of Knights. The other is a slot sh slot machine themed uh, pinball machine game based off of Sonic and his friends and such. It's very similar to Carnival Night Act Zone. Uh, in fact, I think this actually is Carnival Night. I wasn't paying attention to, to the stage name and, you know, these stage themes are so similar that I don't really care if they're, you know, like one another. But yeah, I'm playing on the pinball uh, table that, that's based off of Knights because it's faster to accumulate 400 rings, which is needed to complete this level. Because the way you complete this level is you uh, play this here uh, game to accumulate 400 rings and uh, deposit them into the vault, so that way you can open up the... the basically, the, the Chaos Emerald is up on the uh, platform inside the vault, but it's too high to reach, so you need to deposit enough rings in order to be able to get to it. But now that I'm thinking about it, what I should have done is try to see if I can glitch to the uh, into the vault by climbing up the walls as Knuckles, because I know that the way speedrunners complete this level is just glitching through the wall by clipping through a specific spot that connects between a wall and a pillar, and uh, Yeah, you, you glitch through the walls, completely bypass the whole ring collecting process, which, even though I'm completing it much faster here than you would during normal gameplay, it's just a, a long and basically, and you know, honestly, it's not nearly anywhere as fun as playing through an actual stage. But yeah, we have enough rings to uh, deposit into the vault so that way we can collect the Chaos Emerald now, so I'm going to... Uh, lose intentionally here uh, so that way we can exit these uh, exit th this pinball machine game <clears throat> and uh, yeah there we go um, I'll definitely test out seeing if there's a way to, to glitch into the vault with knuckles here uh, so that way I can complete this level much more quickly should this run get accepted for ESA. It'll definitely be uh, more interesting to watch at the very least than just collecting cards to accumulate rings in a pinball minigame. Oh yeah, because Knuckles does normally play this stage, although this wasn't his version of it, there's a cutscene after you complete it in story mode for the first time. And uh, hey, look at that, we, we finished Knuckles' story playing a stage as Knuckles. 
I've got to find the Master Emerald. You can always borrow my plane, the tornado. <laughs> Alright, so next is Amy's story, which is only three stages long, so this is going to be over before you know it. Um, like I said before, I can either skip the cutscenes or let them play out so donations can be read, but let's just, let's just shut up and watch. to get to me sonic and that's through the sky deck <laughs> only one way to get to me sonic and that's through the sky wow the exact same voice line played twice in a row no trains are currently in service look at me i'm your brilliant creator dr robot so these are the seven emeralds time for some super sonic speed <laughs> none of you got the right one <laughs> Not you again! <laughs> How to play as Sonic? Choose the feature you want to edit. <laughs> wow, this exact same stage again with Big again. See what I mean? Right, this game just loves to force me to play as big. I mean, I won't complain too much because it's just Sandhill again, but but still. What is it with this randomizer and, and, and making me play as big all the time? Oh my god. Okay, that could have been bad because if I would have glitched through the wall, then I would have actually fallen to my death. Oh my god. Okay, well, that, that shouldn't matter because as far as I, I know, there aren't any enemies. Or at least none that are a threat to, to me in this stage. But yeah, we're, we're more or less going to do what we did with Gamma, just with Knuckles. Uh, and I want to be extra careful not to uh, accidentally get the camera too far away from me here. Uh, so that way I don't suffer an unnecessary death like last time. I'm actually gonna follow the semi-intended route by uh, flying through these green rings. <laughs> yeah, as long as you keep rotating the camera, then it should stay relatively close enough to your character that you shouldn't have to worry about. Yeah, like I said, the, the death barrier seems to only apply when the, the, the camera gets too far away from your character rather than, you know, actually touching a death barrier. A dynamic death barrier, if you will. Oh my god, I can't believe. I landed on it, but for some reason it didn't register, so I, I, I just fell off instead of ending the stage. Oh my god, Sandhill again, as Gamma again. <laughs> what are the odds? No, seriously, what what are the odds? This is actually insanely lucky, getting Sandhill this many times, because this is basically making up for all that time I lost at the beginning when I had to do Sky Deck as big. Chaos Zero as Knuckles. Interesting fight. I'm gonna do the uh, Heat Wave attack or whatever it's called on him. And as you can see, it did not deal double damage to him, which means that the whole dealing double damage with the charged attack thing is a property exclusive to the Chaos Six fight. Supposedly, there is a way to make him end this phase early, but I have not been able to figure out exactly what it is that you have to do. Oh, no. Not that it matters, because as you can see, that the fight is over already. It's the first, very, very first boss battle of the game, and the very first bit of gameplay you experience, because you can only play as Sonic from the beginning, and that's the first thing you do as Sonic. 
And yeah, like I said, Amy's story is only three stages long, so it's over already. This is going to be the last uh, intro cutscene that we're going to be seeing in this randomizer because the intro cutscene, at least at the moment, in the randomizer is skipped uh, as Gamma and it's also skipped for Super Sonic. And there's only one stage uh, when playing as Super Sonic, so... Uh, yeah, when we get to that... When we get to Supersonic stage, it's gonna be time when the timer stops upon when the last stage ends, rather than, you know, at the... <sighs> it ends when the timer stops on the last stage that we play. And the last stage is going to be Supersonic Story, because it's only one stage long. is futile. Give me the bird. <laughs> Use the hammer while you run. You should be able to jump across. <laughs> hey, are you alright? Gather 50 rings and press the action button while you jump. You'll transform into supersonic. <laughs> Watch out for your ring consumption. Negative forces aren't the only way to empower the Chaos Emeralds. <laughs> the servers are the seven chaos. So yeah, in the... Oh my god. Can you believe this? We're actually playing as Big at the start of Big's story. Well, thankfully, because I have v vanilla stage and character combinations turned off, we don't have to fish on this stage because this is actually a stage that Big would normally play on. But this is Amy's version, so... I I've played as Big so many times now during this randomizer seed that I've basically lost track already. It's ridiculous how, how many times I I'm forced to play it as big every time I play randomizer. Absolutely ridiculous. I think this is the most I've ever had to play as big in a randomizer to date, actually. Ugh. Luckily, this is a pretty short stage, so we don't have to suffer for too long. Oh my god. I absolutely hate playing as big. At least things are a little bit better because his movement speed and acceleration are increased in the randomizer, but still, it's never fun to play as him. Ooh! This is interesting. I've actually never done this boss fight with Gamma before. What's going on? We must save Amy. Going to the Mystic Ruins. It needs a Chaos Emerald to work. Yeah, I've never done this fight as Gamma before, so I'm not exactly sure how, how damaging is supposed to work. Like, as long as I'm shooting at the cockpit, it, it, it should be damaging him, but... No, his, his legs still need to be weakened. Okay. So you are able to target his legs uh, when they would normally be vulnerable. Oh my god. Kind of annoying that you can't just shoot his cockpit to deal damage with him. Or, or to the Eggman, rather. Well 
Oh my god. Hit his legs! What's going on here? I don't know why he's not targeting his legs when, when they're vulnerable. That's your chance to attack. Some of the child move into other buildings. Use the hammer while you run. You should be able to jump across. Oh my god. This fight is terrible to do as Gamma. Hurry, you'll be arriving at the Mystic Ruins base soon. <sighs> He's just not targeting his legs. Looks like the train has a uh, you okay? Uh, it doesn't matter how far away I'm standing away from. He's, he's just not targeting his legs. I wouldn't drop. What is your wish? Uh. Oh my god. Well, I just discovered another character stage combination that I don't want to get during the randomizer. Um, this is this is just a complete unnecessary waste of time. Why can't this just work like like the egg hornet fight and, and I can just shoot him without him needing to be vulnerable? This is so stupid. Just the legs, but I don't even know what I did right to, to cause that to happen. So this fight is basically just just random luck because I can't even tell what, I, what it is that I'm doing right to. Oh wow, and I somehow actually managed to finish that fight even though I had no rings. I was so sure I was gonna die there. God, that, that fight was so stupid. Any time that I might have made up for from playing the uh from playing Sandhole so much, I I, I just lost it again. Hopefully I, I can make it back up by playing as Tails on, on this level. This is Sonic's actually this is normally only Sonic can uh, play this level. Well, that's not true. Uh, as you saw earlier, Big also has a version of the stage, but it's completely different from this. And Gamma also has a version of the stage which is similar to Sonic's, but much shorter and uh, <laughs> doesn't have this section with the whale here. That, as you can see, is actually possible to die during when, when you're playing as anybody other than Sonic. Okay. I'm going to see if uh, I can skip this part. Yeah, okay. It looks like uh, the, the whale is triggered by touching a specific part of the level. Or, you know, you know, you know what I mean. There's a certain trigger that you have to hit in order to activate the whale, so... By using Tails' flight ability, I, I can just go around it and skip it completely. And god do I hate camera angles that all of a sudden change out of nowhere. I had to grab that extra life uh, because even though I, I had a bunch earlier, uh, life count is actually kept separate between characters even in the randomizer, so yeah. So yeah, just gonna fly past that part of the stage completely, fly over this invisible wall, and uh, yeah, skip a large chunk of the level. When will you ever learn? Oh my god, I can't believe I almost died again, yeah. 
just uh, skipping parts of the level by flying over invisible walls and uh, actually completed this level slower than the what the time attack for this stage wants you to do, but that mostly has to do with the fact that I, you know, died on the level. Wow! Sand Hill again with Gamma again. What is going on here? This, this is one of the most insane seeds that I, I've ever had in this randomizer. I've never gotten Sand Hill this often before. Mission complete. Wow. <sighs> See what I mean by, by th this randomizer loving to force me to play as big? <sighs> and, and Big really is the, the absolute worst character that you could fight Zero as. Because unlike the other characters who can use their regular attacks to, to effectively... Uh... Oh my god! Does this guy ever stop jumping? So yeah, as you can see here, Big has no means of, of shocking this guy as if he bounced off the electric fence like the other characters do. You, you more or less have to actually hit him against the fence in order to make him vulnerable to your attacks. And he never stops jumping! And yeah, the, you, you can't skip this this phase of the fight normally. <sighs> yeah, another thing that should not be anywhere near as difficult as it is, but of course because we're playing as big, it, it, it is a humongous pain in the butt. Far more than it has the right to be. Oh wow, he actually only jumped twice that time. Amazing. He took mercy on me for once. Unbelievable. Make a clip of that, because it won't happen again. Ever. <laughs> and just like that, a, a boss fight that, like I said, is far more annoying than it ever has the right to be is over and done with. God, I hate playing as big. Oh look, we, we, we started Big Story with Big and we ended Big Story with Big as well. Though, of course, I would prefer never to play as big ever. I'll cut him off at the Mystic Ruins! So yeah, we're, we're coming close to the end of the run here. <laughs> this is actually a, a mini game called Hedgehog Hammer that you would normally play as Amy. <laughs> you're supposed to... Uh, it's basically whack-a-mole except you're trying to hit Sonic and not hit Eggman. You get bonus points for uh, hitting Super Sonic, but obviously lose points if you hit Eggman. And because I'm playing as Tails, I, I can easily hit everything as soon as it pops up. Of course, your high school doesn't matter here. It, you know... It ends within the same amount of time every time, no matter what, so... Doing this fast, quote-unquote fast, it's just a matter of... Excuse me, activating the minigame as quickly as possible. Oh look, it's this fight again, except this time we're playing as a character that's actually fun to play as, and, and we can cheese him. By simply punching him, you can uh, shock him as if you bounced him against the electric fence. And yeah, just like that, the fight is over already. Much, 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 much faster than how the fight goes as big. And much faster than how the fight goes as Amy as well. Hey, Sonic! <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> 
Oh, nice. We're playing as Metal Sonic again, and this time it's in an actual stage, so we can actually have some fun for us. But yeah, this is basically uh, a Tails race stage. Uh, except we're playing as Metal Sonic, who's basically just a, a reskin of Sonic. He more or less plays exactly the same, except you're Metal Sonic. And he hovers when running at fat full speed instead of running along the ground. And I'm not sure if it's a property of the mod or Metal Sonic himself, but he also can't spam the spin dash for excessive speed like Sonic can. Normally he's just a, a retexturing of Sonic, but because of the Dreamcast uh, restoration mod that I'm using, I have an option enabled to replace Metal Sonic's playable character model with the one from the Mystic Ruins, so he actually looks like Metal Sonic and not just a retexturing of Sonic. Like I said, he, he plays more or less exactly the same as Sonic, but... Wow! Sand Hill again, big again. What is going on here? I... The, the sea just, just keeps giving me the stage over and over again. I, I don't understand why. <laughs> oh my god. This seed is on a whole new level of, of ridiculousness. It's in a league of its own with how ridiculous it is. Not Sand Hill, but in a go-kart again. Back-to-back go-karts. I think this is the same course that I did earlier in the randomizer as well. Oh wow, I, I, I completely went through those two lines of rings. Or rather, in between them. Yeah, this is the invincibility music. Normally, it's a jingle that, that ends after a few seconds, you know, more or less when the invincibility power up ends. But, uh, because it can come up as music during a, a regular stage, it, in the randomizer, it's programmed to loop, as you can clearly hear. Yeah, since I did this already, this would have been a good time for reading donations. Oh, it's still going, so it's still a good time for reading donations. Uh, I'll be sure to point that out sooner if this run gets accepted. <laughs> you know, during the actual marathon run, I mean. Well, this is embarrassing. I just realized that I never changed, uh... I never changed the tags or... the game that I'm playing on my stream. Oh boy. This is really bad. Well, I'm sure we all forget, uh... things like that, don't we? Right? I'm, I'm not the only one? Please tell me I'm not the only one who, who gets to do things like that. <sighs> but yeah, I, I skipped a whole bunch of splits there because the auto splitter doesn't work fully correctly with the randomizer, so even though it will uh, properly split when it's supposed to, uh, it will also split when it's not supposed to and not split when it is supposed to, so because it doesn't line up with what we have going on here and we're on the last level, uh, I had to skip straight to the last split manually. So yeah, this is Hot Shelter, which is the actually only level in the game that Sonic does not play. Uh, this is uh, Amy's version of the level, but we're playing as Gamma, so... Uh, certain things that are supposed to happen when you play as Amy are, are different when playing as Gamma. 
for example, that rocket isn't there because Amy can normally just get up into that uh, air duct herself. And th that staircase that led us to the first air duct is normally one that you have to push as Amy. But since uh, we're playing as Gamma, uh, it's it's uh, <laughs> in place for us to climb up the stairs already. So uh, normally you're supposed to go to that center platform over there to activate it. Gamma can just shoot it to activate it. That spring uh, sent me shooting far up higher than it should have, and uh, this is the part of the level that's the biggest pain uh, to do as characters other than Amy, because you have to place these squares in the colors that match the slots that you're supposed to put them into, but uh, it can be hard to do this precisely because where they're put down isn't accurate with... Uh, where they actually go when you place them down, so you have to be more careful with them than you normally would be than if you were just doing this as Amy. So I'm just gonna run up to this wall over here because, yeah, Zero is gonna break through it. So normally there would be another, uh, put the squares in the slots puzzle here, but in the randomizer as Gamma, the door is just automatically open, and uh, yeah, that's time. So that is um, Sonic Adventure DX randomizer. Um, I'm not sure whether or not if this is actually a personal best or not. Uh, I'll have to retime it, but... My personal- this is either a personal best or something very close to it. <laughs> um, because my personal best is, is also a 118, so I need, I need to check and, and see whether or not if this beats my personal best or not. But yeah, that Sonic Adventure Randomizer DX can be a lot of fun, depending on the character and stage combinations you get, but can also be quite the pain in the butt to play as well if for example, you have terrible luck like me and end up playing as Big the Cat all the time. But yeah, that that was Sonic Adventure DX Randomizer. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed laughing at all the times where it was painful for me to play as Big. I certainly didn't enjoy those parts, but as long as you did, that that's all that matters. So uh, yeah, that's, there's nothing else to say. If you guys want to read off any more, uh, any last donations as I let the credits play out, feel free to do so right now. But yeah, um, that, that's pretty much all there is to the randomizer. Every, every story is complete now, so there's nothing else left to do. And yeah, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Um,